Hi again, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller and today I'm going to be doing my Watt Sold video way ahead of schedule because I'm actually recording this before we leave on our trip but by the time you guys are seeing it, it's going to be the 12th um, next Friday so I'll just state that we're going to be in Rochester tomorrow evening which will be Saturday the 13th so I'm hoping that we can come up with an itinerary um you know I've got a visit with my son and his family and then I would like to spend some time sourcing at the bins I've heard the Rochester ones can be good um and then I want to meet with people you know I I'd love to take the opportunity to you know either meet up at the bins meet up for um, lunch, dinner, something. So if you're in that area and you, you kind of want to, you know, figure a few things out for us, maybe that way, you know, somebody who knows the area can go ahead and let me know that, you know, this place would be a really good place to meet up and then maybe we can get it all worked out. I'll be posting stuff in my Facebook group, the Rebel Reseller Hangout. And I'll also post stuff on my community page with the channel. But it's just kind of all up in the air um, as far as what we plan on doing and when we plan on doing it. Um, but I'm excited to kind of hopefully get, you know, to meet a few of you. And then we're already starting to make plans for some of these large yard sale events that we plan on going to. I think the first one is going to be the 400 mile yard sale, which... By the time this is view airing, we'll be in like two weeks later in Kentucky. So that's going to be like the next one for us. So it's kind of exciting. It's kind of exciting. I'm looking forward to it. But if you're new to my channel, um, I've been selling on eBay for 24 years. Um, most of it has been full time because I have so many items listed. I sell more. It's still this highs and lows. I think in this four-day period, I had one okay day, and then the other three days were kind of down. You know, I have, I think, a little over 10,500 listings. For us, it still provides us the opportunity to stay home together, homeschool the last of our kids, and, you know, travel, do these trips, plan all of these other events, um, do YouTube. So it's just been an amazing thing for us. I had sales across all four platforms, but my other three, you know, has been really slow. And I am trying to list on there every single day. Not a whole lot, but I'm just trying to keep their algorithm happy. Everything starts on eBay, and then I use List Perfectly to cross-list some of my listings to the other platforms. Uh, Mercari, Poshmark, and Etsy. Um, but I don't use their catalog. So, you know, it's it. I do a lot of end and sell similar also for my listings on eBay to keep them current, keep them fresh every single month. But if you are using one of those programs and you are using the catalog, um, you, you've got to go a different route. Um, so just putting that out there, you know, I think it, some people when I say I do end and sell similar three to 400 listings every night, you know, they don't understand that I don't have my stuff in the list perfectly catalog. So I can do that because it doesn't mess up the connections. But you know, if you did, if I didn't have 10,500 listings and I was just starting out new, you know, that might be something to consider, you know, putting your stuff in the catalog, connecting them all to the other platforms. And then as you sell on one, you can just go in and, you know, take down all the other listings, you know, it would be convenient, but at the size I'm at, it's just not feasible. But I love that program because of the ease of transferring everything to these other platforms with very few um, additional things that I have to do to each of those programs. All right, now let's get started. Alrighty. Y'all, we're having internet issues. It keeps turning off on us. I've got to call a service call in, but they couldn't get here till after our vacation started. So we're just going to have to deal until um, we get back from this trip. 
All right, so the first few, well, this first and only sale was on Mercari. This, we bought these Mattel Kamigami robots, um, retail arbitrage, when we were selling on Amazon. We haven't done Amazon for quite a few years, so that's how long they've been listed on eBay. Um, at the time that we purchased them, they, you know, it would have been a good thing to send into Amazon, but once we decided to quit, you know, we had this inventory that I hadn't sent in, so I listed it on eBay, and I have slowly decreased the price until finally it sold on Mercari, but these were new in the box. Um, just very interesting, but you made these robots. Sold for $9. I think I paid 5 so not that great. But they're gone. All right, then on Poshmark, I had some nice sales. This is a Tommy Bahama men's short sleeve shirt. Sold for $16. Old Maui brand Hawaiian shirt. Um, sold for $17. Anytime I see shirts that have a Hawaiian theme to them, I tend to pick them up. Just, we have quite a few around here. It's kind of, I guess people go on vacation, bring them back, and then send them to thrifts or put them in yard sales. Um, but we tend to find quite a few, which is kind of funny. Because I lived there for 13 years. This is American Eagle women's jeans. These sold for $18. This Imagine X spy agent. Um, this one figure with its um, accessories sold for $18. I bought a bunch of them in a bag. They're all from the blind bags, meaning probably in Walmart you can buy the little packs that are sealed and you don't know what's in them. Thus, that's why they're called blind bags. Um, and then somebody, I think, put it in a consignment sale. And just had all of them together and I went ahead and grabbed them. Some of them I had multiples of the same one. But $18 for just one of the figures. And I used Google Lens. Much easier to figure out stuff with that. And then the best sell on Poshmark was this Toy Works. Which isn't a brand I particularly care for. But it has cute plush. Character plush also. This was a white bear dressed as a jester, sold for $32 on Poshmark. And then I had one sale on Etsy. This is a baby's first Easter rabbit dated 1997 by Plush Creation, sold for $14.95. And then eBay. Sold quite a bit of Build-A-Bears this time. Um, this is just a tan Build-A-Bear 16 inch. Most of the ones I sell are in my bread and butter, $8 to $12. This one sold for $8.96. Now, I don't, if I didn't say this before, um, I don't do free shipping. So when I say it sold for that amount, the buyer also paid shipping. This is by Brookside Industries. It very much looked vintage. A giraffe plush, kind of carnival style. It was very overstuffed so wasn't very soft sold for $17.95 Goldberger baby baby's first Ivy lovey sold for $14.50 I bought a bunch of bags I wanted five or six bags of magnets that were mostly either tourist or seasonal at an estate sale I want to say I paid a dollar a bag um, this was two of the magnets from that purchase, and I sold these two for $8, best offer. This is a Steiff Bear Plush 12-inch. It sold for $20.20. A lot of people think Steiff is, you know, big-time bolo, and it can be from some of the more vintage pieces, but they still do currently make them, and they are still, there are contemporary ones out there that aren't worth the big bucks that some people think. So just make sure when you see a plush that has the little yellow tag up here, let me go ahead and take this off. If I didn't say it, it sold for $20.20, but I got to take this red writing off. I can show you the tag. See, it says handmade by Stife. It's put in there with a button. 
Um, and that's how a lot of people know to look for them. But again, not all of them are worth the big bucks. Groovy Girls, these are by Manhattan Toys. They seem to be having a comeback because the last few that I've listed, I listed individually and they have sold at relatively decent prices. So I think at this point, moving on for a little while, I may go ahead and list them individually and not in small lots because this particular one, her name is Florabella. They usually have their names on the tag. This one sold for $14.54. This is Bobby Brooks women's denim shirt. It's been listed a while. Um, I got had a lot of back and forth offers on this. I went ahead and accepted a $12 offer for this women's denim shirt. Bunnies by the Bay. I love that brand. This is just a cute little pink rabbit. I don't quite remember where I picked them up. That's the problem when you buy as much stuff and you process as much stuff as I do. I don't always recollect, but I can tell you that I purchased it very cheaply or it came in one of the gift boxes that I've received recently. And a part of me thinks that's what it was. Um, but I don't spend a whole lot of stuff. That is the good thing about being a niche plush and toy um, seller, especially with the, the used stuff. I don't spend a whole lot on um, the stuffed animals and mostly most of my inventory. So this rabbit sold for $12.10. Now these could have sold for a whole lot more, but um, they were the type of plush that you like hit them and they talked and neither one of these were working. They were Fisher Price Veggie Tales. That's, um, Junior Asparagus and Larry the Cucumber. I just went ahead because neither one of them were working. I put them together, did state in there that the sounds are no longer working, and they sold for $17.95. Now these next four bears were purchased from a viewer, so thank you so much, Tracy. Tracy has purchased from me before and has purchased again since this um, purchase. Um, but she bought the four Build-A-Bear um, bears that had the rainbow coloring. I had tons of it, um, comments and messages sent to me asking if these were any chance the ones that had been depicted in, um, I guess, a news article where they were looking for a particular Build-A-Bear, um, but none of mine were. But she did end up purchasing all of them. Um, she bought this Rainbow Panda for $11.66 and then did a second order that included these three bears for a total of $29.58. So thank you so much, Tracy. And then I had another multi-quantity listing sold. This is the Wedgwood Quince Oval Bowls. Um, I've sold almost all of that and I'm down to just a few pieces left, the cups and saucers and I think a few plates. Um, but this person bought two of them, paid $26.90 for the two of them. This is Carter's Pink Fox Plush. I think when you pulled on it or something, it, it did the shaking. Um, nine inch from 2015. I took a best offer of $8 for it. I tell you, I sell a lot of bread and butter. That's what ends up paying most of our bills. These were in a tote lot of uh, Christmas village type stuff that I picked up once upon a time. I want to say I paid $5 for the whole tote of them. Some of it was Department 56. Some of it was other things. These were some red brick wall pieces that were five inches tall um, Sold them for $15 for the two of them. Now this is Thomas the Train Track Master. It was supposed to be, it is motorized, but it was not working. It is a unique train, so I decided to go ahead and list it, just making sure that I noted that I couldn't get it to work. That doesn't mean that somebody else might be able to, you know, reconnect something. Because, you know, kids are tough on toys, and, you know, if it gets pounded enough or, um, whatever it could disconnect something and somebody who knows what they're doing could go ahead and fix it um i went ahead and um 
listed it, and it sold for $8.96. This is Douglas Husky Dog Puppy Plush, 6 inches tall, sold for $15, best offer. Now these I picked up at an estate sale. I found quite a few small figures that were vintage. The, uh, I want to say probably four of these. I've already sold one of the other ones. I want to say for $30 to maybe $40 for one of the figures. These are from Codename Kids Next Door. Her name was number five. She sold for best offer of $25. There is a series of these that are smaller. These were the larger figures that were like three inches tall. I didn't have a whole lot of comps to go on, so I just kind of picked a high price and waited for offers to see what I was going to go ahead and accept. Now, this is another multi-quantity order. Um, this person purchased both of these rabbits are the same, except that one was white and one was pink. They're by Sound and Light, but they really didn't do. That's the manufacturer. They didn't sound, make sounds or light up. They were six inch clip-ons. She's already left me feedback on them, stating that um, she, this was one of her kids' favorite toys when they were a child, and she's actually putting them away for later as a gift. Um, so I thought that was very sweet. Because she said, I think she said after her daughter turns 18, she's going to give them to her. Um, she bought the two of them for $15. I tell you, nostalgia. Nostalgia is a lot of my sales. People picking up something from their childhood or their children's childhood. This is Hobby Lobby. I don't find a whole lot of their plush, but I tend to pick up any that I do find. Some of it does very well for me. Others of it is bread and butter. This little six inch chick sold for $8.96. Disney video, Copper the Dog from Fox and the Hound. I think these came with the video when it was released. There is another one that's the Fox from Fox and the Hound and then there's this dog. The other one does better, but I forget his name. Can't even remember right now. This one had some condition issues still sold for $8.96. Another low dollar sell, but I've already, a lot of times when I'm processing stuff, I haven't done comps. I've already done the photos, so I'm just going to go ahead and list it, even if it's not going to be a high dollar or even fall in my bread and butter range. And then hopefully it sells pretty quickly and, you know, it's gone, but this one sold for best offer of $7. It is a Russ Salina skunk. This is Barney the Dinosaur from 1997. This is the Actimates one. Probably have the brand video already released where I talk about the Actimates with Teletubbies. This is the Barney one that sold. When I turned it on, I think he starts talking to you and stuff like that. I, do I have a video? No. Must have been listed when I wasn't really doing videos. But nevertheless, he sold for $26.95. Fraggle Rock. This is Boober the Plush from Jim, Jim Henson. It is a Toy Factory brand. It still sold for $22.50. This is another multi-quantity sale. This person purchased the Citrus Grove green dinner plates. Purchased the two of them. Um, sent me an offer for $7. I had picked up a bunch of these. I want to say I paid like $5 for plates and cups. And I'm down to just a few things left. I've already made all my money back. I had two of these. I'm not remembering where I got them from. But they're only 6 inch plush from MTY International. But they are the smiley face graduation. This one, the first one, has already sold for $9.15, and then I have a sale going right now that has dropped that price down to $8.46. But, you know, I, I love when I can find graduation-themed stuff because it sells this time of year. All right, I think Robert picked this up maybe at the bins. I can't remember. It was a Bis Bissell Easy Sweep compact sweeper. It sold for $18.35. Probably, 
probably picked her up at an estate sale. I don't pick up a whole lot of dolls, but if, you know, it's definitely if they're Mattel or Ideal or just something unique, I will usually pick it up. Um, but they're, you know, like this one was long enough that I had to use an oversized box, which kind of bumps the shipping up. They take up a lot of space. So I tend not to pick up dolls. And a lot of times, you know, they, uh, you know, they're no longer working or just have a lot of condition issues. But I just loved this doll because it's Mattel. It was from 1978. Um, the pull string on her worked but her clothes had some issues and I put all of that in my description. I ended up taking a best offer of $22 for her. Now this, I don't do a whole lot of baby blankets. Usually it's just, I don't take the time. A lot of times they do have stains on them. And when you're buying them at the bins or, you know, at yard sales and stuff, I, you don't always see the stains because there's not bright lights or anything like that. But I picked these, I picked up a bunch one year thinking, yeah, that's, I'm going to focus on that. Um, and when I was going to a lot of the pop-up consignment sales, I would go through the baby blankets while I was looking for lovies and stuff like that. Um, but they've just been very slow sellers for me. So I tend to not pick them up very much. This one has probably been listed three or four years and finally sold for $28. This is Sears Lamax, the Cork and Cask Winery Building from 2013. I love picking up Lamax, but when you get into the building, sometimes, you know, you're dealing with larger boxes, heavier weights. Um, so this one took probably a year to sell. I ended up taking a best offer of $28.50 for it. Now we're getting into some of the higher dollar stuff. These are my, my thank you because, you know, my sales were kind of low for that four day period and these really, really helped. But Avon, I don't normally pick up Avon and I didn't even realize this was Avon until I did Google Lens. But definitely this needs to be one to be looking for. It is a Count on Andy Monkey Plush from 1988. It's large and it's weighted. So that's why I put the word weighted in there because that's going to be the easiest way for parents who are looking for weighted um, items for their children on the spectrum or thing, children who have sensory issues. Um, that's how they're going to find them easiest. Lots of these that were listed also had the word weighted in there. Um, but the other Avon thing to always be on the lookout for is that advent calendar. I've shown it previously that I had picked one up um, at a church sale for a dollar and it sold for a lot, over a hundred dollars. I don't quite remember. So those are like my two exceptions to Avon. There might be more. Anybody else know of any other Avon plush to be looking for? But this one was a new one for me. I picked this up probably two years ago at a yard sale um, where everything was a dollar. I picked up several um, sports-related jerseys. Not something I'm really comfortable with, but this one was a large size. It was made in the USA. Um, and I was pleasantly surprised that it, you know, it, it comped higher than I was expecting. This one did eventually sell for $54.91. Now it says it does have a spot on the shoulder. So, you know, make sure you're always taking pictures of any defects that you see. Look, for some reason there was this green tint throughout the, the sweatshirt. And then waffle blocks. These are the older ones. There are newer ones that don't only have these primary colors. Um, a lot, there's some that are more pastel colored. But I picked up a bunch of these. I want to say at a pop-up consignment sale because I remember dragging the bag. It was heavy. I dragged that bag around because it was too big to put in my Ikea bag 
with all the other stuff that was in the Ikea bag. Um, but it ended up being over 125 blocks. I could have split it up, but I just decided to pack it all in one box. It was pre-packed. So, you know, I knew exactly what size box and the weight to be charging. Um, and I got a best offer of $75 for this large lot. And then my best sale, Fisher Price. Of course, I was so tempted to keep this. But y'all, I... I can't keep everything, can't keep everything, but this is a Fisher, Fisher Price Slumber Babies. They come in a couple of different colors. I have found these probably four or five times, probably in the last six or seven years. The first time I ever found one, I think it was like in a free box at a church under a bunch of trash and I just happened to see it and realized it was Fisher Price and then from this point on, I've always looked for them, but I think there's pink and blue and white and yellow. Um, there was no tag on it. A lot of times they do get cut off. A lot of times, just the type of fabric that it's made of, they tend to have fuzzballs if they've ever been washed. And of course this one did, um, but definitely one to be looking for. And they're all shaped like this. All right, hope you guys enjoyed that. I've got to wait. Today's actually Sunday, so I have to wait till today's sales are done, and then I'm going to try to get the next video ready, So, because we're going to be out the door. This is pre-recorded, of course, a couple of days before we're leaving on our trip, so I'm trying to get all these videos done so Robert can get them edited, but it's been a lot of work, plus trying to get other stuff done, but y'all get to work. Bye.